Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are safe and sound at your home. Great. So children, in our previous videos, we have learned what is subtraction and how to perform subtraction of large numbers. So, but sometimes you must be facing some problems that while doing the questions, you are getting confused. Yes, yes, I'm doing it correct way or not. Is my answer is correct? So you need to take help of someone elder or someone, someone else. So the here I have the solution for your problem. So by that, by using that trick, you can easily check it out that you have performed the subtraction sum properly, correctly or not. By using this trick, you are going to check your answer by yourself that are you doing it correct way. So let us see how to do. So as I have written two numbers on the board, 64,483 minus 41,218. What we will get children? So for this, first of all, we need to perform the subtraction part. Let us do. I'm going to write down the place value. Chart once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. And we need to write down numbers from the right hand side. Eight, three, eight, four, four and six and then i'm going to subtract this number again i'm writing from right hand side eight one two one and four let us perform the subtraction so as you know three is a smaller number we can't subtract eight from three so i'm going to take the borrow from over here it will become seven and it will become 13 then 13 minus eight will be five seven minus one will be 6, 4 minus 2 will be 2, 4 minus 1 will be 3, 6 minus 4 will be 2 and we got the answer as this and do you remember children what do we call the answer of the subtraction sum? Yes, it's the difference. So this number is a minuend, this is the subtrahand and this is the difference of the, these two numbers. Now how to check that are we doing it correct way? So let us see. We can write down here verification as we are verifying our answer or we can use the answer the word check. So in this one what we are going to do children we are using you will be use addition here. Yes it is. So how to do this addition how to perform how to check this. So for this first of all we need to write down the difference of both the numbers here so the difference is yes this is the difference so i'm going to write down making the place value chart again okay now i'm going to write down the difference difference is five six two three and two and then i'm going to write down the subtrahend 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 is the number which we have subtracted. So this is the number over here. 8, 1, 2, 1 and 4. Or we can say this number. And then we are going to make the lines like this. And we are going to add these two numbers. So remember children, whenever we are copying down the digits from the question in the answer part, so we need to take care of this one thing that always we need to write down from the right hand side. We need to copy the digits from right hand side as sometimes it happens. The number of digits in the minuend, subtrahend or difference will be differ from each other. That's why we need to write down the digits from the right hand side always. So now let us perform the addition over here. 5 plus 8 is 13, 1 is carry, 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 1 is 4 and 2 plus 4 is 6. But now how to check it that we have done it correct way or not? So let us see. Children, this number, this one, this number, whatever we have got the sum, it should be same like this number. So let us check it is correct it is 64483 this is also 64483 that means we have performed the question correctly yes this is the way to check it again let me recall it first of all what we did we have 
sub perform the subtraction part in this part at the left hand side we have subtracted 41218 from 64483 and we got the difference as 23265 After doing this, we need to check or verify our answer. For that, we need to perform one more question, one more sum, but it will be of addition. How to do that? Then first of all, we need to write down the difference at the top, and then we are going to write down the subtrahend. Subtrahend means the number which we have subtracted. So that number will be here, and then we are going to perform the addition part over here, and we'll get the sum. and last at last we need to check the sum should be equal to the minuend the number from which we have subtracted if both the numbers are same this number and this number both the numbers are same that means we have done our calculations right way and if both the numbers are different so maybe we have done it here something some mistake here or in this part so this is how we are going to check we have we can check our answers while performing the addition in the subtraction questions i hope children you will like this trick do check your answers like this way we will meet in the next video stay safe stay at home bye bye thank you